Hello, Geminis. I'm here with your troubled relationship reading. This is to help you better understand the relationship you're in. Before we get started, I just want to let you know that you can claim a free bonus reading. And you can get the link down in the information box below the video, and I'll talk a little bit more about it at the end of this video. But for now, let's dive in. <clears throat> the first question is, what binds the two of you together? And here we have the chariot. So this is really a great card. It's, uh, <clears throat> it shows that you both are on, you're headed in the same direction. You're on the same track. This card actually so shows somebody um, with horses kind of oddly in front of a train engine. So it is literally on the same track. You're on the same track, but you have a white horse and a black horse moving you forward. In other words, the two of you have opposite energies that nonetheless spur you forward. It's like you each offer a different perspective on the track that you're moving on. And that helps you, I don't know, it generates energy. It generates energy. If you were both the same, you would not generate that energy that moves you forward. So very interesting, very positive energy. Um, let's take a look at the next card. What aspect of the relationship needs to change? The Queen of Swords. To me, there's some kind of judging going on. So it could be that one or the other of you is not realizing that the way that you're opposite actually fuels the energy that moves you forward. And they're wanting, and so that, you know, they engage in judgment your way isn't the right way, um, when in fact you're both on the same track and you're moving together. Um, one of you could be more prudent than the other. So I see this Queen of, of Swords as maybe wanting to cut the traces of the other person. It's like, I could go faster on my own. But if you didn't have that balancing energy, one, for one, you would actually have less energy. <laughs> and for number two, um, you'd be lopsided. It's like you would almost, you're more likely to be pulled off track. So the way one, one of the people keeps the other on track may be annoying that person. It's like, no, I want to diverge. I want to go off here. And the other person is like, no, no, we're on this track. And it's like, yeah, yeah, we're on this track, but I also want to go here. It's like, um, there's an agreement that you should be on this track, but one of you wants to diverge, and the other is like, no, 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 stay just on this track. So there may need to be some compromising there. We'll see. Um but one, one of you is wanting to cut something, to end something, and usually because it is being judged with the Queen of Swords, it's about being judged as not of value. Um, and I think that that's just not of value for some reason. She's, she tends to be objective. It's not a super emotional energy. Um, But it can be painful, you know, if you're somebody who's doing your work in the relationship, as both of you are, and being judged as not of value. Okay, let's look at the next card. What are you holding on to or hoping for in this relationship? And here we have strength. So you're kind of hoping that being reasonable or maybe even just waiting it out 
will subdue the other person, that they will see your way. Or if you're thinking that you can heal them, that they will let you heal them. So somehow you're hoping to tame the beast. It could be that one of you is moderating the pace of this movement forward and it is irritating the other person. Um, and Gemini, normally I wouldn't think that this was you that was trying to slow things down. Being very forward thinking, as most Geminis are. But that's kind of what I feel like here. Like maybe the other person You might feel that the other person is moving forward in a way that's rash or some, somehow too aggressive, and you're hoping at some point that they will approach the situation more rationally, or you will, or they will let you look into what is driving them In, in such a, what you perceive as, as an irrational manner. Again, both on the same track, but there seems to be a disagreement on how to go down that track and how fast and, you know, there could even be a disagreement on whether you should be on the same track together. For example, if you own a business together, there could begin to be a wobble. That's what I'm going to see. There could begin to be a wobble um, about whether you should, your paths should diverge. That doesn't necessarily mean the end of the relationship. It could be that you've, like, if you do everything together, there could be a tension starting to build. And this could be a habit of yours for years. And there could be a tension that's starting to build um, about one or the other or both wanting to explore elsewhere. But you know that that divides your energy. So one of you is really wanting to, again, cut the traces, cut the, the thing that's, that's binding you and keeping you on the same track. And the other is hoping you because this is your reading and this is what you are holding on to or hoping for, are hoping for something that is a solution that's a little milder, that um, essentially tames the beast, whatever beast is driving the other person. You're hoping that something milder, more rational will um, amend the situation. <clears throat> So number four, what aspect of the relationship will endure? Four of visions. So this is somebody who is in the doldrums. Um, and it could be that the person is in the doldrums about the relationship, but the person could also be uh, in the doldrums. This is something that will endure. So they could be in the, dul the doldrums about something that's going on in the relationship. Could be something that is a part of their life outside the relationship that's going to endure. Um, it could be an aspect of their character. That they are kind of never satisfied. That their sense of wonder is broken. You, you, you're not going to be able to see this because of my lousy camera. But um, <clears throat> this person is sitting here downcast, and he has a firefly right here, and uh, a kingfisher has just um, dived into the water and is bursting out, and you've got water lilies here. None of the beauty and wonder of these things around him are in any way affecting him. So the Four of Cups can be um, a card about pouting. So 
keep that in mind. It could kind of be, we're going to look next at what will nourish the relationship. If this is persisting or enduring, there's a question about whether this person needs help. This is something that is usually a phase that somebody goes through. It's not enduring. And so either there's something that is deflating, the, you know, about the relationship, and this person is going to be continually disappointed, or they have a character that doesn't help them experience as much joy as they could, and I would see that as, as perhaps needing counseling or at least pointing it out. Um, so what will most nourish the relationship? The Eight of Cups. So this is um, allowing for this teamwork that has kept you on the same track and kept you moving forward. The Eight of Cups is what will most nourish the relationship. It is about letting each person go find themselves. If you've been a couple for so long that the couplehood has become just a track that you're on, as opposed to being a choice that you're constant, consciously making every day, every night, every week, every time the anniversary comes around, whatever, then you're needing, to me, the Eight of Cups is the Go Find, go find Yourself card. It's having a lot of love that makes you feel secure enough to, to go off on your own path for a time or perhaps permanently but it's you know you've got that big full moon there you're feeling a draw to do something different than what you've done before you're leaving behind all of that love but the cups are all still upright they're all um, it's like you have support so there's a dichotomy here. Cut the traces. Yes, don't end the relationship necessarily. This is like, you know, just cutting things off. This is like, and it's cold and objective. This is more saying don't necessarily end the relationship. You each need some time to go find yourself. That the relationship isn't everything as you perhaps treated it in the past. Afraid to do anything separately. Um... Again, you, that you've set yourself on a track and, and perhaps are afraid to go off of it. This is going to find yourself or your partner or both of you with the hope that when you've done that, what is the, there's a song, I think it's called Drops of Jupiter. That's kind of what I'm being reminded of. Um... Go off to find yourself, each of you, without ending the relationship. And then come back and say, well, hey, are we still on the same track? Do we just need to change tracks? Do we just need to change the way we're going about the relationship? Or do, or, or have we grown apart? What is it, the end result after doing this, after allowing each other time to pursue our own things apart from the relationship? Instead of treating the relationship as everything, um, you know, what? where do we stand after we, we make that move? This is actually, um, I'll say, one of the milder troubled readings that I've done thus far, and I would say one of the most optimistic in terms of potentially resolving whatever issue is going on. All right, Geminis. Um, as I said, free bonus reading. The link is down in the description box. It is an annual Love 360. Uh, it answers 36 questions related to your love life. It begins in Gemini season, so um, back at the time of your birthday, and is intended to cover the year that happens until your birthday arrives in 2022. Yep, and you'll find um, an utterly free PDF. You can view it online, download it, whatever you want to do. Um, 
and I hope it, I just hope it helps give you some additional perspective with all of the different angles looked at in that reading. Um, yeah, so best of luck with uh, amending this situation, and I hope you do avail yourself of that Love 360 and that you find it worthwhile. Take care. Bye-bye.